Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here, Toasted DIY, and uh, you know, today's a, today's a good day. We finally kind of finished the 280ZX, which I'm just like so tired of working on at this point. Um, so last video showed you guys I got it all primered and uh, ready to be painted, well, mostly ready. And um, it's already gotten a little bit dusty since I've painted it, but um, from, you know, I'll tell you what though, from you know 20 footer standpoint, it looks really good. You know, that's, that's the reason they have the term 20 footer is for cars like this. So um, I am not a professional painter. I painted it outside even though I, I had um, a paint booth that I was going to be working on, but it's just one of those things where I lost motivation really quick. I was like, I just want to paint this quick and get it over with, and that's the type of paint job you get when you uh, want to get it over with quick. So like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm happy enough with it for what I'm wanting to do, um, whether it's just flip it and sell it, you know, and just make a little bit of money or end up autocrossing it or something along those lines. Um, it, it'll definitely uh, hold up to that just fine. So this is actually, uh, for the primer, I'll show you guys what I actually use in case anybody else wants to be um, adventurous. So for the primer, I just use that Rust-Oleum primer. It comes in a gallon. You can get it from a lot of places like AutoZone and Walmart. Um, I like this stuff because it's 50 bucks. And as long as you sand it well, it actually works really good. It lays on a lot thicker than other primers, especially if you don't um, you know, dilute it very well with uh, like mineral spirits or... Um, paint thinner. Um, it's really supposed to do a one-to-one -one mix. I can honestly recommend doing a little bit more just to get it to lay on not like super thick unless you want it to be thick and that's fine. And also Harbor Freight um, mm -hmm. paint guns. Basically this was all done like as, as cheap as possible so y you know you really can't like I said I, I, I can't complain so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that turned out. And then as far as the paint goes I used um, here it is. So for the actual paint I used uh, that this is like the only, some of the only stuff you can get in person right now. It's just the uh, Duplicolor paint shop um, ready to spray, spray lacquer paint. It's just black, uh, jet black. That's like one of the only colors you can get plenty of. And then also just their same brand uh, clear coat. It's about 22 to $30 almost per uh, quart on this car. I ended up using, I think like two and a half quarts of the black. Sorry, I keep getting all these text messages. I ended up using... Um, I think about two and a half, maybe three quarts of the black paint, um, which it really couldn't have used much more. I only painted the outside though. I did not do like the door jams. I didn't do like the engine bay. So that stuff's gonna have to come later. Um, but, and I think I used two, yeah, exactly two quarts of the clear coat. I have not wet sanded it or um, buffed it yet. Supposedly if you, well not supposedly, it, it literally says, and multiple people will back it up, that if you wet sand it with like 1500 to 2000 grit um, and then buff and polish it, it should turn out with a pretty nice shine. It shouldn't look kind of speckly like it does. Um, you know, that's just from, from spraying it on there. You just get that kind of nasty looking uh, speckle textured pattern. So once, if you light, lightly sand it, like I said, with uh, wet sandpaper and everything, you should get a really nice um, finish. And like I said, this is with pretty minimal body work. I mean, I did do the body work and it was way worse than this, but when I say minimal, I mean, I did not do a good job at it. I just did like the bare minimum to get it to where there wasn't any major dips or dents or, you know, spots that came out really far. But as you can see, Jesus Christ, I, my, my, I'm sorry about this phone situation guys but uh, as you can see there's still like some dents and stuff like that um, in the side uh, and th there's definitely a lot of flaws here and there like I said the bumpers are both still off I still need to paint the mirrors to put them back on but yeah you know I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out I really feel like I couldn't I honestly thought it'd be worse than this <laughs> I feel like I couldn't ask for much more this is only the second time I painted the car and the first time I painted one was probably I would say four years ago and I only primered it with that rust-oleum stuff um, and then just sold it like that just because, like I said, I was very inexperienced, which I still am pretty inexperienced, but this is definitely a pretty big step up from the, the last time that I painted. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.